Hey guys, this is Fajana. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to customize DB block module like a boss. So here is the final design we are aiming to achieve. So let's dive in and let's get started. So first, I'm taking here a block module. And going to design tab. So here, I'm going to layout and from here i am just changing it to grid layout okay so this is the default design from db here is by default three columns layout so here i am going to change uh, this basic style first going to changing this title here i am changing this uh, font family to Montserrat and alignment to center and decreasing this font size to okay so 90 pixel and changing this color to pc3 Okay, and okay, looks good. And then I'm going to content again. I'm typing here post count to six for now. I'm making uh, its part length to um, fifty five word. So how it looks like or we can increase it to 65 okay so so now I'm going to change this font style so here font family is in same for Montserrat and uh, font weight to light and font size so here decreasing font size to 14 pixel or less okay I'm leaving it then going to here here I'm changing the font family I'm using here something different so I'm using here Allure and Increasing the font size a bit, okay, and going to begin our text module. And here I'm making our text align to center, so it looks better now. And and for this design, I don't want this author name here, so I'm just going to element and show author. I'm just switching off. Okay, now I'm going to change this date format here. So I'm going to again content, and from here, here we can change our date format. So I'm changing this date format. Okay, so here is first date and then month in short form. Here we can change our line height. So one yeah, okay okay looks better then I'm going to customize this image so first I'm adding some border so let's try with four pixel and color to white and here I'm going to change our section background color so our images uh, uh, will focus in on this section so I'm going to change the background color and adding here background color to something lighter so lighter white and again we go to our row settings and from here, I'm going to design tab and going to sizing. 
So here I am decreasing our gutter width to 3 to 2. Okay, so our spacing between hostess is now decreases. Now I want to remove this uh, border. So I'm going to border and making it to 0. And instead here I'm using box shadow. So I'm using something like this and decreasing vertical position and increasing blur stick and increasing blur strength and going to decrease it. Yes, it's just look better and we can uh, increase this border size a bit more to six pixel. Now I'm going to add some hover effect for this image. So I'm clicking on this image and going to blur effect. So for this, I'm just going to add some blur effect to one pixel uh, or two pixel okay and for and clicking on this icon and clicking on this hover item now i'm decreasing this uh, to zero so when we hover on this image our uh, opacity our blue effect will be to normal and in normal state our uh, can see some blur effects here and again we can add some image saturation effect in the similar way so we can keep it to saturation to 5% and our hover state and just making it to 100% okay so looking better so I'm just going to save it next um, I need I want to make this area to overlapping with this top section so I'm just doing it I'm decreasing here the row spacing and then I'm just making it to top so it's now overlapping with this top banner. I'm going to save it and check it now how it looks like. Okay, so it looks great. So uh, here is also image hover effect. It's also nice hover effect. Now I'm going to do some more customization here. For this, I have to add some CSS code. So First, uh, I need to remove this spacing. Here is so much spacing, so I'm going to inspect element. And from here, we can see here is the margin below our image. I'm going to grab this image. And here, we are going to decrease margin. So, margin bottom will be to here you can see a margin bottom here already 30 pixel so we are going to make it 10 pixel adding important or increasing to 15 pixel is okay so i'm going to copy this css here and paste it to our custom css options from db I'm going to save it and save changes and next I want to move this uh, date from here to top area so for this I'm going to again this element here I'm going to grab this class name so it can work for all post adding series position to relative Saving this CSS and 
hands now and just grabbing this uh, thread from here so getting this plus name and adding some CSS here so first I'm going to add in CSS for position to absolute and from top and it will be one pixel so it's in, in top area uh, and from left five pixel and adding some background color to three 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 so it will be color to white and here I'm adding some padding to 5 pixel or 8 pixel increasing the font size to 20 pixel or more to 25 pixel is okay now I'm setting some width here to 100 pixel or uh, it will be less yes so it can be 65 pixel looks great and adding some line height to 1.2 em or uh, just one okay just adding some border one pixel and let's try with Double and color will be white. Okay, looks good. Now I'm just making it uh, with top and more left. Okay, so it's it's look bit much better now. Now I'm going to save this CSS. Here we can see a line between this uh, meta tag. So I want to just remove this uh, by using CSS uh, as here only now category. So I'm going to remove it. So for this, I'm, I have to apply some trick here. So first, I'm going to grab this. Uh, category class so I'm adding here display blog and margin top to fill and I'm going to minus margin here now I'm adding some background color matching with this content background color to white and adding some position to relative okay now we can see this line just uh, hiding here so we can copy this css I'm going to save it okay now i'm going to replace it again yes so we are done one more thing, uh, we can also style this uh, pagination from here. So uh, we can also leave it. I'm going to add some similar font color here. Here I'm using similar font and using similar text color. Okay, so it's now similar with this block design I'm going to save it and replace it again so here is all for today if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and yes don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and welcome to my next tutorial